This ABC 15 Flash Briefing is sponsored by Sanderson Ford. All roads lead to Sanderson Ford. I'm Katie Rammel with your top stories from ABC 15 Arizona. Developing tonight, Arizona Christian University is suing the Washington Elementary School District after the district's governing board ended the student teacher internship program with the university. Board members cited what they say is the university's strong anti LGBTQ stance. It was a unanimous vote to drop that program, but in the lawsuit, Arizona Christian says the decision to revoke its relationship with the district violates the university's constitutionally protected freedoms. Meantime, ABC 15 has confirmed six principals and 14 teachers submitted their resignations to Washington Elementary School District. The district governing board is meeting right now. We'll bring you the very latest at 10. Governor Katie Hobbs vetoed a bill that would ban critical race theory in Arizona's classrooms. Critical race theory looks at how race and racism shaped American law and society, but Arizona public schools say they don't teach CRT at all. This is typically taught at a university level. In her veto, the governor said it's time to stop utilizing students and teachers in their culture wars, a point she drove home during a late afternoon news conference today. This is uh, an attempt to fear monger that Bill Sponsor himself uh, couldn't point to any instances of this happening. And when I'm talking to folks about what we need to do in our in education, we need to fund classrooms, we need to keep teachers, we need to fix buildings. The bill's sponsor, Senator J.D. Mesnard of Chandler, called the veto a slap in the face to parents. A woman in the hospital but is in stable condition after being hit by a car. Police say the driver took off. This happened overnight near 43rd Avenue in Indian School. Officers say the woman was not in the crosswalk at the time. Two people hurt after a car driven to a Starbucks in Scottsdale today. This happened at Hayden and Osborne. The driver and the passenger retreated and released. Uh, one customer was cut by all that glass. No word on the exact cause, though, of the crash. A 15 year old arrested after police say a student brought a firearm to school. This happened yesterday afternoon at Legacy Traditional School, North Chandler. Police say the weapon was found in a school bathroom and that the firearm did not have ammunition in it. New tonight, superstar Kevin Durant out for at least the next three weeks after he sprained his ankle. This happened uh, during warmups before last night's game. The team saying he'll be reevaluated in three weeks. Uplifting Arizona tonight and living out a dream. An ASU senior has been playing club hockey for a while, but Brendan Studioso said he got called up to play for the university's D1 team. He's looking at his first game where he even scored a goal to help propel the Sun Devils to victory. Brendan says he's been overwhelmed by the messages of support he received and said it's a good reminder to never stop working hard. Yeah, before the game, I was like, oh, I had kind of like a celebration in mind, maybe if I scored. And as soon as it went in, I was more shocked than almost maybe everyone else. And I was just like, oh, my gosh. And yeah, I saw it go in. And right after that, I pretty much blacked out. And it was really cool. <laughs> He's still on the D1 team and he'll finish his hockey career tomorrow and Saturday as ASU hosts Long Island University during senior weekend. A reminder, ABC 15 is your home for the 95th Annual Academy Awards. We're bringing you Oscar coverage all day on the red carpet starting at 10 in the morning. And the countdown to the Oscars special is at 3.30. Oscars officially start at 5. An all-new American Idol follows the show. And then we'll join you at 9 for a special edition of ABC 15 News. For the latest headlines, weather, and traffic, visit ABC15.com or download our free mobile app.